Hey, Brian Sullivan, founder of Precise Selling. Lessons from the dog park as they pound the heck out of each other over there. Hey, listen, I'm back. San Antonio, Texas, spent two days with an amazing company called Bragg. And the theme of this meeting was spurring change. All right. Now, there's two ways that people look at change. Top performers, they love it because they know that average or below average competition, they can't keep up. Because how you look at change is the barrier that separates top performers from the pack. All right, so let's look at the attitude that fuels each. So you got the below average performers, you know, those grumpy negative salespeople. And here's what they say. Yeah, you know what? We got this new CRM system. It's going to change. It's going to slow me down. And you know what? As a result, change is going to lengthen my work day. And all it does is change creates this useless work. I've been pretty good so far. What are they doing to me? Change. You know, it's always something they're trying to drop on me. And as a result, change creates stress. Top performers don't look at it that way. Top performers view it this way. They say, and I'm open to it because change, it might make me faster. I don't know. Maybe it saves me time. Maybe change will make me more efficient. Maybe it makes me more profitable. And you know what? No one's got to tell me to change. I'm a top performer. I'm going to change before the manager or anyone else tells me I got to change. I'm going to be a step ahead of them. So think of that list again. Think which one describes you. Now, if you chose the second list, you're ready. You're ready to make 2024 the year that you look back on as the one that made you famous in your company and your industry. So while the others know, they resist change. Don't fight it. But only if you want to get to the top.